Hey, this is Robert Knight, your Spray Foam Advisor. Last week I talked about the three methods to achieve energy code compliance, and today I want to focus on the first one, the prescriptive energy code compliance, and what this really means and how we really achieve it. And as I mentioned last week, prescriptive energy code compliance is where the rubber meets the road. It's where the black and white of the building code pops out of paper and becomes real life. It's when um, it says R13 in the walls and R38 in that roofs, then that's exactly what we install regardless of anything else. We have to install specific U values for windows. We have all of these prescribed requirements and the code prescribes these minimum requirements and says you have to do these things at a minimum standard. And if you do these things at a minimum standard, then you are approved. Your structure meets energy code based on achieving these prescribed standards. And so the, the example I gave or the primary example that you're going to see, say, for example, in climate zone three is wood framed walls are going to have to have R13 in the walls and they're going to have to have R38 uh, in the attic space, for example. And we're going to show the R value and U value tables right here. And uh, you can see that the way this is set up is each climate zone has its delineation of the specific prescribed values in these tables. And to achieve the prescriptive code compliance for energy performance, all you have to do is install these exact values at a minimum, so this or greater, and you achieve code compliance in accordance with the prescriptive code. And this is how most builders are trained to achieve energy code. And so this is what you're going to hear from your builders more often than not is, I have to achieve this specific R value. I have to do it this way. I have to get to R13. I have to get to R38. And in northern climates, I have to get to R49. And you're going to hear this time and time again. And for us in the spray foam world, this often means um, excessive amounts of spray foam insulation that may or may not be necessary. And so for you sitting at your office or when you're out on jobs, really thinking about what are the best ways for you to show your clients to meet energy code compliance, oftentimes it's not going to be the prescriptive path. But the, because the prescriptive path is a code minimum that doesn't allow you to take advantage of some of the amazing benefits that we offer with spray foam insulation. Like when we create a closed attic assembly and we move ductwork inside condition space, we, we eliminate duct losses to the outside, we change the heat gain and the, the load on the ductwork itself, um, we change the way the building works, we lower the natural air changes per hour, we lower the leakage rates. All of these things are benefits of spray foam that are not part of the prescriptive code. Now the way you can achieve um, and get recognition for these benefits of spray foam is by using the performance path. So we'll talk about the performance path next week. This has been Robert Niney with Spray Foam Advisor. Thanks for checking us out. Catch us on some more videos.